Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the channel. Guys. <laughs> I gotta say that I'm doing this video before market closes because I am so excited. And we'll probably get the close here on, on my uh, recording. But it does not matter. I believe that we have now confirmed... Look, man, this is my conviction. This is where I stand on it. And I'm not going to say what kind of trades I'm doing or anything like that. But I will say what kind of levels I'm looking for and what I think is going to be happening here in the short term. Um, you guys know that I'm not scared of being bearish. Um, I will put out videos that, that have short-term bearish outlook. But I also still have a long-term bullish outlook. And you can watch my uh, last video from yesterday to see my some of my macro analysis on AMC, okay? But I want to talk to you about the price action today <clears throat> and why it gets me, it's got me so uh, hot and bothered, some might say. Some may say that I'm a little hot and bothered. All right. So if you're familiar with the channel, we've been following the Wyckoff accumulation schematics. And look, man, this is what, and I'm going to be making a few videos about this. I want to, I want to tell you guys, this is the type of stuff where, Look, we we got to play the game that the institutions are playing, right? We got to be aware of these accumulation schematics, these distribution schematics. And I'm not saying that we got to trade based on them or anything like that. Like, whatever you want to do is what you want to do. That's fine. What I will say is that we got to prepare ourselves for what they want to do. Just, just think of it from their perspective, right? Think of it in the way if you had enough money to move a stock how would you want it to move in order to get maximum profit have you guys seen long term leaps have you guys seen the leaps on amc and compared them to the recent months in their price the 145 the, the ones that are way out of the money right so cheap because implied volatility has been getting crushed on this thing okay Th this is an opportunity Dips are an opportunity, man. And let me let me show you why, okay? And let me show you why I'm so excited about this. What have we been talking about on this channel? We've been talking about Wyckoff, right? Let me show you this, this schematic first before I show you what I have charted. This is the chart, and I'm going to move it out of the way here. This is the chart that we've been looking at for weeks on this channel, right? Weeks. And we've been playing out two possible scenarios, right? We've said, hey, look... We could be in this phase B where we're still going to see a phase C spring type scenario. And look, I'm not here to say that this, this is necessarily off of the table, but I will say that the way that I had it charted, here, I'll, I'll leave this up for now, and I'll show you that spring theory. The way that I had that charted is that going here next to this schematic, and look, it doesn't have to stay true to the schematic. It doesn't have to do exactly what the schematic says. But I was looking for downside, and I still have the arrow here, right? Let me show you the other theory that, that I've had, okay? I just want to show you. So this is the schematic for accumulation 2, okay? And look, again, schematics are schematics. They're not, they're not like the Bible. It, it, this doesn't have to happen exactly like this, and it, and it probably won't. It probably won't, okay? But let me show you the, the way that I charted this. By the way... Aside from me moving these vertical lines a little bit to the left and right, I have done nothing to change the phases on this for weeks. You can go back to my videos. I'll, I'll link a few of the videos down below. I don't know what specific videos because, you know, I post almost every day. So it's kind of hard for me to keep track of what I say and what video. I'm sure you understand. But let me show you what this looks like, man. Look at this. Would you just look at this? Again, let me move this here because this, this was my... Okay, so... You have your LPS. This is what I see, man. And this is what I've been seeing. Look at the peak in the bot in on the left side of phase C. Boom. We come up, we test this uh, shorter term liquidity zone, and I'll show you what that one looks like. Because I believe that we're also in a shorter term accumulation here. Right? This was the speculation on the potential spring. This is not what happened. Look at look at what happened instead, man. And look at this in comparison to the chart, to, to the longer term, okay? This is what, man, I'm telling you, man. Look at the peak here. 
We run down. We have some sideways action through phase C. We jump out into phase D. Now we're coming back for our last point of support in Wyckoff. Please, please, please. I encourage you to go out and, and understand this theory and look at these schematics. I'm going to have a link down in the description that breaks all of these ideas down. And I want you to understand, man, I, I have not been this bullish on AMC since we were back here, since we were coming out of our falling wedge here. I have not been this bullish. I am very confident, okay? So let me tell you what I'm expecting. I'm expecting more downside in the short term, okay? The way that I want to pull my fibs here is I see this as one move up, one Elliott move up, all right? So what does that mean? We have a wave one, two, three, four, five. And this four can keep going down. What I'm, what I'm, and I'm gonna show you how we measure that. Fib retracement. This is one move. We're gonna ABC down. Okay. The most common retracements. And and look, I am in this. There's an an assumption here. Google Wyckoff Composite Man when you're done with this. It's also in that instructional thing that that I that I'm gonna link down below. So you can check that out. Okay. Assume that these people are trying to accumulate and they're trying to shake people out of their positions. And I know apes hate when I when I refer to that because they say, oh, nobody's selling. I'm talking about average traders. Today, man, I saw a bunch of day traders trying to grab AMC for upside and they were getting smoked. You know why? The composite man was trying to show them that they were that they were gonna see more upside and then shake them out to create this sort of selling pressure. This is all, dude, I'm telling you, man, this is an engulfing candle. Look at this. We're about to get our clothes here in four minutes. This is a bearish engulfing candle. Everyone outside of like the ape buy and hold no matter what sort of community is looking at AMC like, oh man, like this is a hard rejection, but this is nothing. We just broke our 0.236 on this move up. And let me, uh, let me flip this out here so it's easier to see the numbers. Sorry. Man, I'm so pumped about that. I, I, I man. I have not been this bullish. I've not been this bullish in a long time on AMC. We could come down here to this 0 0.618, 0 0.65, this golden pocket right here. I'm measuring from the wick, okay? This, it, I am loading, okay? St when I, and look, I'm not saying you should do this, okay? Because obviously this is not financial advice. Nothing in this video is financial advice. This is all my opinion. This is all, oh shit. I don't know if you guys could see, could see everything that I was just doing. Let me take this schematic off. You guys get the idea. Fuck. I fucking hate when I do that. I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry for the language too. I, I'm just so, I'm jacked right now, dude. I'm so, I'm, dude. I'm so pumped up. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Like I probably should do this video again, but I want you guys to feel the energy that I'm feeling, dude. Look, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right and we're gonna we're gonna do some other analysis so that i can check myself as well okay because i don't want to i don't want to be too too bullish because i want to i want to make sure you guys have a have a measured guy a measured guy to to look at but look man this was a wave one dude this is a wave two down this was a wave three a real powerful wave three okay we're gonna have our wave four down we're gonna come up for a five May, and then and then look look at the schematic again dude and then what happens we're gonna have our f pff, wrong one can i find it is that the thing okay we're gonna have our wave five up here to this sos phase that you see in in the top of phase d and what what i think that move looks like is this right so go up here we're gonna come back down we're gonna retrace these levels i know this doesn't sound fun man I know it doesn't. <laughs> Everybody's like, you're a shill. That, that's what I'm going to get. But look, we're going to come up here. We're going to test these levels up here. This 53-ish. I'm telling you, this is this is how I'm seeing it. I'm not, I'm not saying this is happening for certain or whatever. Like, you know, obviously I can't predict the future or whatever. But this is like picture perfect to me, man. Like I... I I, I literally couldn't have written this better than than this. I I, I 
I mean, I, I wasn't expecting the schematic to literally do exactly what the schematic says it's going to do on, on this little piece of paper here that I'm referring to. But so I know I'm jumping around a little bit. I'm sorry. I, dude, I'm so jacked right now, man. Also, I, I'm, I still got my pre-workout in my system and shit. So, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm wilding. So anyway, let me, let me collect myself. I collected myself earlier, but I failed. And I'm sorry for that too. I mean, probably three, come down here, four, and then boom. Then what you're going to see, this is this is how I'm counting it at least. And I, I could be wrong, right? I mean, I've, I've been wrong before. You guys love to tell me about that. Um, B, C, something like this. I would have to measure it. Or, I mean, maybe this is the completion of a, of a five-wave set. Yeah, you, 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 you get what I'm saying, man. Shit. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this video. I, I, I should probably start the video over. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna keep pumping through. You guys probably appreciate this. Look. All right. I'm just trying to show you guys how, how you can be looking at the chart. Look, it's, sometimes it's hard to... Uh, let me maybe go to a smaller time frame. We can see it a little bit clearer. What exactly we have going on. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, to me, this is a bottom. Okay. To me, look, you go below below this level at this point. Woo! I mean, you know, it's getting kind of kind of weird if you go below this like uh this thirty three ish dollar level. Which, by the way, I was calling the bottom back here. We'll do this as an alternate zone of support. Um, we you know we don't really want to like re-enter this. If I'm being honest with you, you can see here that it what just happened. Okay, somehow I just deleted all my charts. Um, you can see that there, obviously this is a zone that's pretty heavily traded. Um, and I mean, you know, we can come back down and, and double, but I honestly, I'm so, I'm so like convicted on this, on this Wyckoff thing, man. Like this is the validation, the proof, the proof I was looking for, dude, like this move up, which is the one that I was not projecting. And then this move down here, especially when everybody's bullish and, you know, getting all pumped up. You got to think, man, they want to pump people up so that then they they have buyers, right? Because, like, if they just, like, let it let it run, they let it run here, but then they started, it showed some weakness here, and they, and they let it come back down, right? So uh, that weakness, they were selling into that weakness, and they were probably making that weakness, and they made the, the, the composite man, the guy on the other end, the guy you're trading against, created this environment for people to be buying into, right? It wanted to get people jacked up. He wanted to get people all jacked up, and then he created this sell-off. Come back down. You test this liquidity zone down here in this, uh, in this schematic. Boom. Now we're getting people, we're getting people excited, right? Like normal people, not apes, and even apes probably, okay? Normal people are getting, they're looking at AMC like, oh, okay, like AMC's, you know, kind of getting getting jacked up a little bit here. It was at 33, now it's back above 40, boom. Okay. The ultimate confirmation that this is a, this, this is a bullish move, right? The ultimate confirmation of that for people is going to be after it comes down, for this retracement and it could be down to this 3686 it could be down here it could be down to 36 dollars on the 786 retracement you know amc historically has been loving these 786s right man i'm so bullish right now dude like so maybe what you see is you see a little pop up here and then boom we come all the way down here to this 36 everybody's oh amc oh you know the media is talking about how amc is dead and stuff like this but in reality, what's happening is institutions, which by the way, institutions are driving this thing, okay? That's how I see it. But but you guys, a lot of people in the community will look at institutions and say, oh, those are the bad guys. Um, but what I'll tell you is that you have good institutions on your side. And in my opinion, those good institutions, those, those bullish institutions, now they're not apes, so they're going to sell, okay? They're going to sell. But those bullish institutions with whatever liquidity they have available in AMC, whether that's uh, real liquidity or fake liquidity or whatever your opinion is on that, it doesn't matter. What they're trying to do is they're trying to accumulate. That's what this chart says. These bullish bullish institutions are, are in control of the price here. 
they're accumulating this asset, in my opinion, and they are trying to gear this thing up, get people ex excited enough, but still kind of on the fence until it's too late, until they have too much of this asset to fail. They are, they are trying to get these cheap options, and they are trying to create the ultimate frenzy. And I'm going to do a video on why, why AMC can squeeze, could squeeze even if there wasn't any synthetics, even if there wasn't any synthetics. So subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you want to see that. I, Dude, I am so convicted right now. I am so confident right now. And, and look, I don't get confident like this too often. And I'm not trying to tell you that you should be doing anything based on anything in this video, okay? I, I honestly think that what's happening right now is the last is phase D, the final phase in this accumulation before we see our move up into into this SOS phase, which is a sign of strength. Okay, we come back for this back up into this into the bottom of this zone here. I get everybody pumped up. Boom. Oh no, we fail. We fail at this $53 level. It's it's a double top. Come back here. They do their final load up and we see a markup. And look, man. Dude, I know that this video is kind of dragging on. I've been trying to make the video shorter for you guys because I get that feedback all the time. But look, man, the same thing happened here, man. The same thing. The same thing happened here. Look at this. Boom, everybody's pumped up. Back here, March. Oh, man, AMC to the moon again. It's going to $15, $15. It's a real deal. Boom, rejected, destroyed. What happened? Look at where look at where we will be going back to here, man. Like, dude, I'm so I'm so like I'm so pumped about this, man. I'm so jacked up, dude. All right. So alternatively, I'm just looking at the chart and I'm I'm just trying to view it objectively here. And I'm trying to, you know, maybe, maybe look at it from a different angle. Alternatively, we have talked about the other theory that perhaps we were in the beginning of April. And I know Brian at my friend Mocha has kind of he's been a little uneasy about it lately he's like oh man maybe I, you know maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong um there is also the possibility now that i'm looking at it and i and look i'm not trying to be bearish obviously you just heard me come up here i'm all jacked up and stuff uh i guess you could say that let's just do an alternative let's do an alternative scenario man Look, I'm I'm bullish on the stock and I and I believe that another move up is inevitable. If you if you want to know why I think that a big move up. If you know want want to know why I think that, go check out my video from yesterday again. I'm going to have it tagged uh here. It'll be in the description everything like that. But and I know these letters are kind of big, but um let me take this off so that we can be a little bit more clear. So if we're just if we're let's let's do it from here. Okay. AMC had. I'm just trying to like formulate how I want to show this guy to you guys because I'm kind of doing it last second. Maybe I should do a separate video on this. <laughs> but. Oh. Let's see. So this move. To me, if we're if we're just being objective, we're trying to challenge our, our own thinking. Is similar, yeah, man, dude. This move, this is. Oh, I was just trying to disprove myself, and now I'm sitting here. Look at, look at the similarities, man. Oh my goodness, I'm so jacked up right now. Do you hear me whispering? Because this is like this. This. So similar. Man, it's hard for me to not see it this way. Man, I don't want to sit here. I don't want to I don't want to sit here and just be like this is going to the moon no matter what. That's not what I want this video to be. Damn it. Well, I kind of do want it to be that way. That that's why I came in kind of hot, but at the same time like I do want to give a another opinion. I know that this is kind of weird and I'm doing this in real time. I should have been more prepared. Uh, for this section of the video, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this process. Man, man, ah, dude, this is, oh man, it's so hard for me to, to not see it this way.
Yeah, man. This... <sighs> Dude. Is this it, man? Is this it? So... Damn. Was this... 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 And then this... 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 And then it was this... This... And then this... And then, okay, and then this is this and this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know I need to I need to be more explanatory and, and we're late in the video here. Man, I'm so jacked. Dude, it's it's hard for me to not see it this way. I would love to see, I, I need to talk to uh, Mocha. I need to talk to Brian and see what his thoughts are. I'm going to have his Twitter link down below as well. Um, man. It's hard. This is this has actually been my conviction. Like this was kind of like what I was seeing. Like when it when it was doing this, uh, and by this, <laughs> okay, I'm done saying this. I'm not gonna say it anymore. When it was doing this rising wedge, this sort of macro rising wedge that we ended up seeing play out here, right? What I was calling for at this point, ooh, I said this, Edward, was this downside. That we saw, right, and I and that's when I was doing the mother of all bear traps. I was saying, "Hey, look, boom! This is a top. We're gonna see downside now." I was I wasn't expecting it to go this low down to at seven eight six, but after this move, I was saying that, like, I was like, "Yeah, seven eight six, boom!" And that's where we see the retracement. And the reason that I was saying that is because we also had um, this falling wedge and this is where the mother of all bear trap scenario was kind of born was when i when i noticed this falling wedge Let's see if i can it's been a while since i drew it sorry um sorry for the extension on these lines too i i don't know why but it keeps on changing it back to this i, I you guys might have noticed that in, in my other videos too let me uh, change this right quick dude i'm i'm so pumped up man I'm telling you dude I'm not saying that this is guaranteed, by the way, man. And like, regardless of what happens, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna be bear. I mean, bullish, <laughs> bearish. See, I knew he was a shill. He he accidentally said he was gonna be bearish. Um, so you had your rising wedge, your falling wedge here, right? Uh, uh blue. Kind of hard to see the red, right? Boom! Now you're now you're here, and then this is probably I'd bet it's a rising wedge as well. Oh, actually, this might be a longer rising wedge. Hold on. Mm, no. No. You could still technically be be like within this, and I don't know. It's not very strong, is it? It's kind of like... I mean, it could be. Mm, maybe you've already broken out of it. It's like this. It's a shorter term one. This would actually make a lot of sense. Okay. I kind of like this. All right. So, look. Here's my here's my alternative. Like, within that Wyckoff, ignore it um, for a second, right? Also, we have our Elliot. Uh, yeah. I think it's this. Mm, like this this is definitely the strongest move boom boom um this makes sense here because the the fall the rising wedge would be roughly the distance of the back of it would be the breakout target well like where it came from basically sorry boom all right so boom we come down here to to around this level that 36 to 38 dollars level me personally, not telling you guys, I, and I'm not going to disclose my position size or anything like that. And I said this in Discord earlier. If you want to join my Discord, it's down below. I'm entering. I'm going to be entering leaps at the 36 to 38 dollar level. That, that's like my range. I'm 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 buying leaps. I'm buying the deep out of the monies. I am trying to do what I think that uh, institutions are going to be trying to do here. And I'm not, you know, like leaps. Not like next week. Uh, out of the money options. Uh, that's not what I do. 
Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to be loading up down here, man. That like, I'm going to do what I think the institutions are doing. And just for, for a refresher on what that looks like, this is the projection, man. We come down here to this $36, $38 level. Just like the schematic says, we come here, we do our last little bit of accumulation, and we have our markup. That is that is what I see playing out. That's how I see it, man. I, I, it's been a while since I felt like we were on the edge of like the the thing. And I and to be honest with you, I was starting to think, okay, maybe it's gonna get pushed out to next year. But this is a fundamental like. This is like a foundation for the channel the past few weeks. If you've been watching the videos, you remember me calling this. And I've deviated away from it a little bit. I stopped kind of looking at it. Um, but it's still here. It's still in my in my object tree or whatever. Um, again, I'll refer to some of the videos in the description where I've talked about this before. And to me, man, like I'm not... I don't want to get overzealous and I don't want to get over pumped, dude, but... It is just crazy that originally I remember me streaming this back here. It was like my dad's birthday. And I was and I was doing this. I was doing this theory, man. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna share some of that stuff down below if you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about. But man, I, I you know I, I really, really hope that I'm not wrong here, you know? Cause I don't I want you guys I want you guys to uh you know to I want you guys to do good, man. I want, I want, I want this thing to to run like like we think it will. Maybe this is still no. I think we're out of this, man. I think we're out of phase C now. I really do. It, this makes the most sense to me. It's really crazy how this schematic is is just playing out so closely. I know this video is extended now, and we're almost thirty minutes. And I wanted it to be a shorter video. Now it's even longer. Um, because I sat here and fooled around with the chart, but. I think that this video might be like like a, a really good video to be this long and and me to sit here and really try to question my process and you guys and you guys see all that happen but look man look back here look back here man just just look at it look man you see this man you see that you look at it this is that SOS. Look. So look, just for, for your comparison, okay? I've seen a lot of these cycles going around on Twitter lately too. Kudos to all the cycle guys. I respect y'all. Boom. This is like this is the kind of move we're in right now. Like, you know, maybe we see some more retracement. And then boom, this is your sign of strength. You come up here, you test this key. Fuck. Um look, let's zoom in a little bit. I know this video's too long i should make like another video or something but um just visualize with me for a second so this is that peak that you see in that phase b down there in the bottom right come down here boom this is that kind of lps thing that you see in phase c there we're starting to get bullish right this is this is that like kind of final retest that I'm seeing. There's probably a button that I could have hit that would have brought me right over here, but uh I don't trading view like that. So then what happens is you have your phase D where you begin to have your your big move up. Boom, that's the conclusion of phase D. Shit, I might already have this charted. I might have already shown you this chart, so why am I redoing yeah you have your sign of strength up here in this key zone you get rejected for your backup slash last point of support so this is the last point of support this one i have it charted as a spring test it's kind of the same thing um you know you could you could you could say and and that's why it's it's kind of a tricky theory but you could say this is a spring and this is a test here um man the more i look at it the more pumped i get about this this is like picture perfect to me it it it's so and look man the the composite man like i referred to earlier 
and I'm going to have a lot of links that I got to share down below. So I apologize about that in advance. But the composite man, he is trying to manipulate you. Um, he is trying to trick you. But I, th I am very confident at this point, man. Not financial advice. Make your own decisions. Do your own research. Go learn about Wyckoff. Please go learn about Wyckoff. Do not let me... Do not let me be your sole source of information. But I I just cannot unsee this, man. I would I really, really want to hear Brian's take on this. So uh my friend Mocha, if you're if you don't remember him from earlier, but man, this is uh man, this is saying that for me it's saying November, dude. It's saying that the run oh, dude. No timelines, no, you know, but the all the theories that I've that I've given out there about the upside, um, potential upside, stuff like that. Um, if you're if you're got that question, oh, where do we go if that that's the case? Um, and look, man, not financial advice, dude. But I'm just trying to share it with you the way that I'm looking at it. This was the Fibonacci extension measured from the bottom of the move in January to the top of the move in January down to the bottom of the move in February down when we had the 786 retracement to the 5ish 6ish dollar range it predicted the 3.618 using the 3.618 you could have predicted the top of this move um and I know a lot of people are going to be like moass you know um and I and I don't want to like deter that or whatever like and and again I'm going to make that uh why it's going to have that pump in my opinion no matter what why this is is inevitable this is inevitable to me okay it is i to me the reason that i am like i am so convicted in this play everything like that is because i believe and i talked about this in my other video but i believe that it is very simple and any elliot wave person would say three four and we still have a five and the five is typically similar to the wave one okay so look man on on now options chain is going to play a role in this so this like 130 145 ish level it's going to be tough resistance there's going to it's going to get that's going to be where you see something like this maybe like see this in the in the middle of this uh of this breakout we had this kind of and look you could have drawn this too i bet watch I don't remember the options chain from back then, but basically when you when you blow out the options chain, uh, it decreases the the buying pressure because you don't have those derivatives supporting you anymore. But look, 1618, 36.89, we got rejected. Do you see that? Briefly, but we got rejected down, boom. And then uh I think they added options when it was down here. If I if I remember that correctly, I don't don't quote me on that, but boom, and then we came up for our three six one eight. Was that that one thirty six? Was that a uh <laughs> was that a one six one eight, dude? Did I just crack the code? Did I just crack the <laughs> Oh wait, I did that wrong, sorry. So it would be the bottom here to the top here. The 1618 is the 136. Oh my goodness, dude. This is insane. All right, I need to stop this video. This is my longest video. This is my longest video. Um, and I, I apologize for that. And I hope that a lot of people had the time to sit here and really watch this because this video is so important to me. This, oh my goodness, dude. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this has played out like this, man. One more thing. You see this? 0.236. Well, no. No, no, no. Not one more thing. Well, did we come back and test that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm really passionate about this stuff, dude. I'm re I hope you guys can tell that I really, really care, man. No. It came down... And it did a 382. It tested this little level. So maybe. Oh, man. Oh, this makes sense, too. That this would be. No way. No way. Guys. Think of it this way. Oh, my. No, no, dude. Like, look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I know, I know people are going to come in here and be like. 
if I am wrong, they're going to come in here and be like, ah, oh, you were wrong, ha <laughs> you know, um, but... Maybe this does run like this, man. Wow, man. This is this is crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash a like. I'm sure you enjoyed it if you're still watching. What the heck? Um, I do not expect anybody to watch me this long, for sure. Smash a like. Destroy the subscribe. Destroy the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates to this because this is my conviction. We are going to see dips tomorrow and the next day and whatever. I don't know exactly how long. Maybe I'll do another video. I'm, I'm going to sit here and play with the charts some more. But this, man, I, this would fake me out so bad if this is wrong. This would fake me out so bad if this is wrong, guys, that you have no idea. I want to be right so bad on this. And it's not because like I want to be able to be like, huh, I told you, look, I was right. But I want to be right on this because, man, I want to see you guys succeed so bad. I want to see you guys succeed so bad on this, man. And I, I think that we might be we might be on the precipice, man. Uh, but but don't get overexcited. Please maintain your emotions, maintain your conviction, maintain whatever your conviction is. Be strong. And if we fail these levels, I'm gonna be right here with you. If we go down further, I'm gonna be right here with you because I'm holding. I'm long term bullish, and I'm not changing my mind. Look, man, they turned off the buy button in January. Okay. And, and I saw a lot of people lose their ass on this, man. And, and since then, I, this, when it came back into these levels and found this support, I, I bought this thing and I said, I'm riding this. So if, if this goes down, man, I'm riding this, okay? I don't want anybody to, to and I'm not telling you that you have to, man. Like, what, do what is best for your family. If you got to sell, you can, you can tell somebody on Twitter or freaking YouTube comments or whatever that says that I'm a shill or whatever. Like it doesn't matter if, if what is right for you is to sell, if it does go to these lower levels, that's what you need to do. You need to do what's right for you at every moment. Cause when this is all over, man, it's going to be you and whatever you get from this, whatever you get. And that could be a loss. It could be a gain. It could be whatever it is. And you're responsible for that. And those people heckling you on Twitter or YouTube or whatever the hell they discord, whatever. I see that everywhere. They're not going to be there when this is all over. I mean, I'm going to be here probably because I really like sharing my ideas with you guys and, and getting that feedback, but they're not going to be there. So do what's right for you at all times. But man, I will tell you right now that I have not felt, I have not felt this confident. I've not felt this confident in a long time. Okay. So. With that being said, please, 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 please be responsible. Please, please, please do not leave this video and go buy a bunch of irresponsible options that expire in November or something. And then when it craps, you come back here and you say, you were wrong. Like I got that video. Don't do that. But I'm telling you, man, they're creating this environment for a reason. They're, they're doing this, they're doing this for a reason. And what that reason is, I can't tell you with hundred percent certainty, but I would imagine that it's for profit. And if you look at the options, man, the 145 calls for like 2023 or whatever, those things were like three, $4,000 a few weeks ago when we were back here. And now they're down, they're like $800 or $700. And when you, and when you're a whale, Okay, that difference, that is you, you could be going in there buying $3 million worth of options versus what would have, what now costs you like $800,000. Just think about it, man, on, on, on a scale, think about what whales want, what whales want, what the composite man is trying to do. What is he trying to do? What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to, in my opinion, he's trying to shake us out. And, and now I think that it's kind of just progressed and it's not even that anymore. It's not even trying to shake people out. It's more of creating a selling environment so that he can load up even more. Because he think, because now I think he thinks it's too late. That's, that's, that's it, man. That's where I'm at with it. So, oh.
my goodness, 40 minutes. I'm so sorry about this, but they, I, I'm so sorry it took so long, but this is big, man. I'm so pumped. I'm so jacked up, dude. And, and look, if I'm wrong, I will be sad. I will be sad, but I will remain. And you have to, you have to carry yourself the same way, okay? I'm very pumped about this, guys. Very pumped. <sighs> smash the subscribe. Smash the like. Trading view link down below. Sign up there. I get a referral if you do a premium, but you can do the free thing. It's awesome. Discord link down below. Twitter down below. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I freaking love you guys, dude. Thank you so much for those who accepted me in this community, man. This is a big deal. This is it, man. This is it, man. In my opinion. Not, not financial advice, but man, I am I pumped. All right. On to another video I'm going to make or something. Okay, you guys take it easy. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.